previously on Caprisonella. Ava, this is what came up, and I thought you should be aware of it. I'll say, looking at this note. This does scream a threat. A terroristic threat at that. But definitely grounds for non-renewal of the lease. I intercepted what appears to be a threat to Ava's safety and welfare. Sir, isn't the ring doorbell enough? I didn't think it would be such a big deal. It'll blow over and be done for. Avison takes threats like these very seriously. An apology will not do it. Do expect Ava not to renew her lease and Ava moving out come June 1st, 2024. Hey, little visit. Was it about those security cameras that are outside? Must be. Yeah, you girls are right. Damn it. It's just not right. No one is petty, Rachel and Ava. When I lived at Woodview Manor, I have offered the property manager their countless ideas for adding some pizzazz to that complex. Tracy and I lived at Preston Point before we bought a home. Do you remember what happened at, at Wangale on, on Thursday? Yeah. It was all over the news. And uh, one of the per people who welcomed me to Fort Wayne five years ago passed away. She got stabbed. What the hell is this world coming to? You know, Grandma, it's like old times being here up with Mom and Dad. It just hasn't been the same since your dad left us. I gotta say, I really like- Have you been a chauffeur all your life, Sorensen? I live on the Far East Side, and occasionally visit my wife Ava on the Northeast Side. Just thought I'd help out. Ava? My old Ava? Ah, uh, Grandma. My sweet God, is she still around? She was too old for me 25 years ago before she changed. I don't know what year she told you she was, Missy, but that odometer's done rolled over. Grandma, please. It doesn't matter what day it is. You don't talk about her like that. Listen, Ava, I know that this is too much for you to handle. You just can't stay at Golf View anymore. Things are clearly not working out. Maybe you could move in with me across from Maysville Landing. No. No way. It is not gonna happen. Hey, guys. Not a big deal, but I need mom to sign this for school. What in the Sam hell is this? You got the tension for pointing a red laser at your teacher? You can't teach kids about reading and not expect them to do something about the comprehension involved. Allison, you know lasers are against the rules at school. It's an unjust rule. I'm fighting for what I believe in, Grandpa. You know what, Allison? Just, just leave the room, please. You're telling me those are the only two choices we have? Being trapped in a tough apartment complex until June or homeless? I'm afraid so.
Hey, Ava, you better come quick. There's a possible illegal tow job that Carla caught, and the person is not cooperating. Just calm down, please. I am security officer for Ava's Inn, not Golf View. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks to my security guard, <laughs> Carla, for alerting me about this. Yeah, it's pretty much an illegal tow. It appears to be close to one of the handicapped parking spots. But, um... Not really sure this is even legal. I say, I'd say thank you. It could even be a car repossession, and that is what it appears to be. George and Carla? Uh... I may be wrong on this, Ava, Carla, and Andy. However, I'm impressed, Carla, on your first day. Caprice? Yeah. yeah? I have made my decision. Let me guess, you're not renewing your lease, aren't you, Ava? You're right, Caprice. I ah, don't blame you one bit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, Caprice. What are you going to be moving to, though? Well, that is the question. Eh? So let me get it straight, Ava. You've decided not to renew your lease, but you haven't decided where you're going to be moving to. Eh. I find that very odd. Caprice, watch your language, okay? Eh. Wait a second, did I just hear this right? Yeah. No. I'm sorry, Ella. I've decided not to renew my lease at Golf View. And this time I mean it. 
foot. You didn't even know what we're, where we're going to be moving to. Isn't that like illegal or something? Well, yeah, you're right, Ella. Well, Gabriella, I gotta tell you. Well, let me just say, that I have decided to not to renew my lease. <sighs> They're just, it's just too much. I just, I just can't take it anymore. It's becoming clear to me now, what Golf View Apartments Management is doing apparently does not meet my expectations. Despite things that have been improving. Now this is gonna take place, this is gonna happen in June. So I've got plenty of time. But I'm doing it now to repair. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. Hmm. I know, Caprice, I know. Yeah. It's okay, Caprice. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's... Well... Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm glad when that is over. Caprice, watch your language, okay? Huh? I'm excited when this is all over. I will be too, Caprice. Gotta think this one through this time. Yeah, you're right, Caprice. Caprice is right, Ava. Got an idea where we're gonna be moving to, Ava? Well, <sighs> I've narrowed it down to Time Corners Crossing or Press and point at the Inverness. Well, this is something that might be good for us, but bad for the <laughs> Carolyn. <gasps> Ella? Bad girl. You do not use the N-word, okay, Capri Ella? I'm sorry, Ava. Yay! <sighs> I don't know where the Sam Hell...
Ellis learning that kind of language. <sighs> Ella just used a racist remark. And I do not tolerate it. So all it's not gonna get any wet food. Hear any of that? What? <sighs> Ella using a racist slur. Yeah. Well, that's what we're being treated like. Well, as long as you don't say the, say that word, kind of, as long as you don't say that word, you're okay, Caprice. Somebody ought to stop these people. Go get them, fat cat. Hey. Shut your f***ing mouth. Closed captioning in English, Spanish, French, and Burmese. Of Caprice and Ella is a community service of Ava Learns and Holdings, an LGBT Ava Zin Van Buren Fort Wayne. I'm Donna Dukin, of Rings and Digital Media Group has given me this opportunity to talk to you about something near and dear to everyone at Avu Rins and Productions, that is affordable, fair, and the right housing to meet your needs and your family's needs. Avu Rins and Productions is a trans woman-owned subsidiary of Avu Rins and Holdings' digital media division. The men, women, transgendered men and transgendered women are the reason Avis and advocates for affordable and fair housing and the rights of the LGBT community of all 92 Indiana counties. An initiative that Avis and is so concerned about these issues you won't be seeing the usual commercials during this Avu Rins and production because this deserves your undivided attention now. I'd like to speak just to the people for a moment of your time. Unfortunately, people like us who live and work in Indiana, your spouses, your co-workers, your supervisors, your professors, or your landlords try to talk to you about fair housing and reasonable accommodations. You may be thinking that we're preaching it to you, sometimes it turns you off. Though a lucky few of us have never bullied or harassed people, try to tell us things for our own good as they also turned us off too. Even though they haven't experienced what to experiencing now, a lot of that preaching was worth it sometimes. When it comes to discrimination, shaming, and retaliation based on sexual orientation, gender identity, income, and disability, experience is not always the best role model but growing up and learning from others are very good role models. That's what Haven Brands and Holdings is about, fairness. Think about this. A majority of you bullying and harassing people out there now are 21 years old or under the age of 21. Do you realize that at age 21 you have lived only one fourth to one fifth of your life? When you're harassing, shaming, and or discriminating others for who they are, you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really are and what you're becoming. And believe us, if you don't retaliate, shame, discriminate, harass, or bully others you can just about be anything you put your mind into. When I was 21 in 1992 in Columbus, Ohio, my future was just a dream, but if I hadn't persisted and went to the Ohio State University, my dreams would have never come true at all. Listen you got at least three-fourths to four-fifths of your life to go, that's three or four more lifetimes to you, so don't blow your chances. Don't be a bully. Don't shame or retaliate. Don't discriminate based on one's sexual orientation, gender identity, income, disability, or other protected class. And certainly, don't harass anyone. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help or counseling. Avu Rinse and Holdings wants you to give yourself a fair shot. A fair shot to find out all the wonderful things that come when you do not discriminate, harass, shame, retaliate.
or bully and so do I. Caprice. Right. Hey. Kitty. I want to speak to both of you. What? Listen, you're, you're both not are not listening to me, okay? I want you to both listen to me. And listen to me very, very good. Do you remember a couple of years ago when I I was at I I, uh, I had to go to Ivy Tech on campus? No. <sighs> Biggest mistake you ever made in your life. You know what I'm like. Well, I, I know girls, but... Well, I recently... registered for classes at Purdue Fort Wayne. And... What? Just, just let me finish, okay, Gabriella? And Caprice, I hope you're listening, because I'm not going to repeat it. And what this means is, from at least 12 to 7, I won't be here. At least on Mondays and Wednesdays. I know, girls, but and uh, what Golfy is doing to us has already ate into into the free time and the time we have and the time with Brianna, Sierra, and Lisa. Yeah. It's just not right, Ava. You've got to do something, Ava. Yeah. Got to do something about this. You're starting to be, be gone all the time. You're almost never home. And, you, and when you do arrive, you're usually exhausted or in pain or 
or something. I know, girls, but I'm on. I'm doing my my best. I'm doing the best job I know how, and and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Some people do not like that, but it is what it is. Yeah. I got and bite the living out of these people who are doing this to you. Caprice, no. You're not gonna do that, okay? And neither are you, Ella. Well, you've got to do something about that. I intend to, ladies. I intend to. So, yes. Uh, I recently got admitted to Purdue Fort Wayne. And... The, and this will be the first time since my senior year of high school, 24 years ago, that I'll be on the campus for at least, for more than six hours. And Caprice and Ella are not taking this too well. Be okay, girls. I'm gonna be back in a few hours. I'll be home in a around six o'clock. Just uh, hold your horses. Just hold your horse and I'll be there in just a few moments, okay, Ella? I'm just about to post the uh, property and heading inside in a few moments.
I will say I I have I am going to be taking five courses at Purdue University Fort Wayne starting January eighth, and three of them are on campus. And I know Caprice and Ella are going to have a a hell of a lot, hell of a time adjusting to this. But me, I have to leave at around noon, then head to the university, and recently. got recommended um, to get these uh, nicotine pouches. And this could, it could come in handy. Because as you know, a couple years ago, I did an assignment about Fort Wayne's smoking ban. Caprice, what's your deal? I don't know, Ava. Caprice, it's gonna, it's gonna be okay, Caprice. Seriously, you need to stop freaking out. Don't make me puff my tail, Ava. Seriously. You're gonna get a mac, bitch. Okay, I'll let you do I'll let you down, Caprice. About f time, you stupid bitch. January 4th, 2024, 2.52 p.m. My owner, Ava, is a bit careless, and I'm over this morning after Sierra and Lisa and Brianna left to join the other humans at some mysterious place people called work, daycare, and school. At this point, I wouldn't give a flying f being alone with a dog, but I am locked inside all day while Ava's security team walks around and patrols the neighborhood. Nevertheless, it's been several weeks since my last entry. It was Ava's birthday, and because it was a holiday in the Zen family, Ella and I got wet food, whether we were good or bad. Anyway, Ava's made her decision not to renew her lease at Golf Hill. Quite frankly, I don't f***ing blame Ava one bit after how Ava got treated by Trampy Terra bastard Brandon, 
an ominous orion after a hiss at those dumb combined total of 612 times since Ava's been at Golfview. I just wish Ava would buy a house so these problems Ava's been dealing with would be solved permanently once and for all. People say I'm just one badass cat. And recently I've been watching a lot of one of our competitors. I do act a lot like Mikay from Niner Lives. Anybody notice that Mikay and I look similar? Diary?